This is Radio Freedom, the voice of the Minuteman. It's 7 a.m. All's quiet across the Commonwealth. Stay safe out there. <clears throat> Running low on supplies, General? Let me see what you've got. Take a look. Very good time. So load it down. Yes, ma'am. What gave you the idea we're friends?
Interesting. This body you've selected for me isn't quite what I had envisioned, but it will have to suffice. What kind of a body were you expecting? Considering I look like a junk bot that's been hastily welded together by an amateur, I'd say almost anything else would have been better. However, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, given your limited skill set derived from your equally diminished intelligence. I'm sorry you feel that way. It's the best I could do. Yes. Well, it's certainly better than being stuck to a machine surrounded by rust devils poking and prodding me for their amusement. Look, it's obvious we don't care for each other's company, which suits me just fine. So, why don't you ask me everything you wanted to know, and then I'll be on my way. Tell me everything you know about the Mechanist. Now there's a fascinating subject. The Mechanist, amazingly adept at programming, a veritable genius with electronics. I'm not surprised you're interested. I've been dutifully carrying out the Mechanist's instructions to help the people of the Commonwealth for quite a long time. Helping the people of the Commonwealth? You? Absolutely. It's my primary directive. The Mechanist instructed me to seek out and help the people of the Commonwealth. By my calculations, the easiest way to help a human is simply to destroy it. There's no point in prolonging a laughably fragile life. It's the most efficient way to assist them. Any other effort to help tends to result in numerous complex side effects. The Mechanist gave you these instructions to kill people? Well, not exactly. The specific instruction was to help people. I merely interpreted the most efficient way to perform my duties. Assisting a human to the best of my abilities only affords a 25% survival rate. That means there's a 75% chance that despite my efforts, the human I'm assisting will die from something beyond my control. Therefore, it's better to hasten the human's death and put them out of their likely chance of misery than to deplete my limited time. It's actually quite elementary, but given your minimal intellect, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised you don't understand. You can believe whatever you want. Just tell me how to access the Mechanist facility like you promised. Certainly. It's rather simple, really. In order to gain entry to the Mechanist facility, you're going to need to outfit one of your robots with an MSAT modification. I'll upload the plans to your Pip-Boy device. There. I've fulfilled my portion of our agreement. Perhaps I'll remain here for a while and see how things resolve between yourself and the Mechanist. Purely for my own amusement, of course. I suspect you'll have quite a tale to tell once you return, but then again, I'd be surprised if you ever return at all. At least now I'll have time to work on my pie to the last digit calculation. Just go away. Haven't you done enough to torment me already? It's always fascinating watching you create. Hey. Yes. Wait there. Certainly. Ada. I trust you've completed your business with Jezebel. I hope she wasn't too difficult. Is there a chance these robots could be misinterpreting orders? Yes, I've considered the possibility. The contradictory nature of the Mechanist's broadcasts are troubling. But the truth is, regardless of intent, the Mechanist needs to be stopped. These robots are too much a threat. Were you able to discover how to gain access to the Mechanist? Think we can trust what Jezebel said? I'm hoping she doesn't have her own interpretation of the word access, too. We'll soon find out. What did she have to say? I need to outfit a robot with something called an MSAT? Jezebel gave me the plans. A custom 
modification that acts as a key to the Mechanist facility. Very smart. In fact, chances are high the MSAT may be required for multiple access points, like a robot identification card. As for my task, I was able to decrypt the signal with the final radar beacon. The source is coming from a Robco Sales and Service Center, most likely a front for a larger operation. It's time to take the offensive. Have you formulated a plan? I'm not sure. I'll improvise when I get there. Yes, the actual confrontation will allow you to make a more educated decision. Now, if you're ready, I believe you have an MSAT to install. <laughs> 